Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode 65 of the New World Iron Man series. In the last episode, we had some really crazy luck, pretty much in every aspect of the game. We rolled a legendary sickle, a legendary logging axe that's in the bank right now. It doesn't have yield, so I'm not keeping it on me. But when I'm in the mood for moat, I can always throw it on and go just cut some green wood with it. And we also, towards the end of the episode, got the Forge Master's Notes from a grave offering route that I do within Brimstone Sands pretty much every hour. I try to stay on top of it, and it's definitely been paying off. We have a Mercurial Token, Ember Stone, Pure Resin, and now the Forge Master's Notes. It's going to be any day now that we land those loaded dice and get the major loot luck trophy. Any day now, I'm telling you guys. Anyway, we're queued up for some Tempest right now. We just need a tank, and uh, then we're good to go. Why is there a 588 in my lobby? Oh, that's my buddy. Okay, he has the wrong set of gear on right now. But yeah, when we get a tank, we'll hop in there. Hopefully start this episode off with some good loot. Keep this good luck train going. So after looting the chest, we actually got a few more nice drops. We got this earlier in the run. I just hadn't shown it to you guys yet. Enchanted, Refreshing Move, and Fortifying Whirlwind. Pretty solid all-around great axe. Good utility on that. I'm going to keep it. Check out this amulet, though. Divine Health and Refreshing. Pure Strength Amulet. Absolutely lovely. Great addition to the account. And we landed some Cursed Z-Log Gloves, which are light gloves that drop by default with Corrupted Resistance and Corrupted Ward. And we got Refreshing Evasion as the random third perk, which is always useful. Good start to the week. Unfortunately, that was a bronze run. We had to kick one DPS. He just could not, um, how do you say, stay alive? You wouldn't believe it, guys. I'm filming a podcast episode with my friend Falco here, but we just landed another stone hewer. That's the third one on the account. I keep landing the same drop. I don't believe it. But yeah, we're still doing this chest run up here in Brimstone Stands. I'm addicted to it. It's awesome. Check that out, another Mercurial token. That's our second major harvesting trophy component. We're about to have three major harvesting trophies, even though we don't have the basic, the epic material to make the medium trophy. Dude, this corn ball just applied to my lobby. I swear, people don't... Maybe English isn't their first language, but people don't read the effects properly on this game. And this is why you check gear when someone applies to your lobby. This tank, Severa, just applied, and I was like... You know what? I'm going to be careful here. Please link me your gear before I accept you to this lobby. They linked me their tank set, and first of all, they don't have any ward. And second of all, they're using Carnelians in their tank set, which actually reduces your threat. That's the opposite of what you want as a tank. You generate 8% less threat. This is a mutation. You should have Ambers in your gear, buddy. And as a tank, you should definitely not have Carnelians in your gear. You guys have to be careful out there. Check the gear of the people you're running with. It, it It's annoying to have to do that every single run, but oh my god, checking this guy's gear just saved me a miserable run. Yeah, I'm gonna deny your application. Sorry, buddy. Whoa, let's go. Two bonus Asmodium for the day. Thank God for this smelter set. One bonus Glittering Ebony. You love to see it. Put on our three pieces of the weaving set. See if we can get lucky here as well. Nope, not the case, but we did get some Emerald Gypsum. Notes on Eternum Fauna. Gosh darn it, I wasn't recording this chest. We, I think that's for the skinning trophy, right? The medium or basic skinning trophy. Yes, it is. Another trophy, Matt. Okay, let's keep it going. Hey, come on. A legendary musket of the scholar. I got a legendary fire staff from this exact offering last run, I believe. No, it was this one. And now we got a legendary musket from this one. Let's check it out. Ew! Oh man, double fortification. Golly gee willikers, dude. If that was double damage, I would have considered keeping it. I didn't know you could have mortal and keenly on the same weapon. That used to be an illegal uh, perk combination, but I guess no more. Although maybe it would be better off if it still was illegal. Because jeez, man. There's there's no way dude a vengeful fisherman smock from a grave offering No, I had a sneaking suspicion that it was a duplicate and it was we already have the vengeful fisherman smock The pants and the hood so we're just missing the extremities the gloves and the boots I'll hang on to it though definitely a cool and very rare set so nice to have duplicates I guess Golden Scarab alongside a Scarab Shell from an Elite Grave Offering. I don't know why I keep getting this Scarab Shell earring. That's my third or fourth one on the account. I have two on me right now. Just cannot land the Legates Ring or the Shadow's Edge Sword. But, I mean, to be fair, 
It's a very large drop table. There's like 40 items you can get from these grave offerings, and it's pretty rare to even get one to begin with, so it's gonna be a while, but I am eventually going to get both the Legate's Ring and the Shadow's Head Sword. I'm staying pretty consistent with these, so I will get it eventually. Well, we just landed our first best in slot of the video. We have a best in slot PvP helmet from Nashatun, this Tempest Guard out of the Brigand, Freedom, Critical Retribution, and Resilient with Dex and Con on it. For a great sword medium build, or or even some light setups you can fit this into. Oh, check this out. I thought all the legendaries from this round were scrappers, but nope, we got one good one. Curse Zealot's Breastplate comes by default with Corruption Resistance and Corrupted Ward, but we got Keen Vault Kick as our random third perk which works perfectly with the dexterity attribute that comes stock on it. So we can definitely fit that into a setup. I don't really run Vault Kick anymore, but if I ever do decide to run it, this is the best in slot for uh, PVE. Well, Corruption Resistance and Refreshing are, are both pretty good. Adamantite Dust. Well, that's another legendary trophy material. I'm not sure which one that is though. Let me get to safety right back here and let's check it out. That is Mining Trophy, Major Mining Luck Trophy. All right, very first one on the account. That's awesome. We got, I don't wanna be too loud, my girlfriend's sleeping right now, but we got the Tracker Seal, Legendary Skinning Trophy. Link that in the group for my friend. I've been doing this run so freaking much, I can't stop doing it in between Tempest runs. I mean, you, you do the, the run once, then you wait 30 minutes and the run's back up again, so... I mainly do one run, Tempest, and then do the run again, and it's been working out pretty well. Finally, you guys, you saw that? We got the Jewel Crafter Gloves from Palace Made in Xiao. I've been going for these for like... I think I've put in over 10 hours farming her, and we finally get them on an elite chest run. Finally, man. Oh my god. I don't really need them for anything, but I put like literally over 10 hours into farming her once and never got them, so to get them now was a really pleasant surprise. You're joking me. Oh, this is starting to become a meme. No, I don't want to have like a meme weapon that I keep getting. We got another stone hewer drop. Do I have them all on me or did I bank them? I banked them. I think this is number four on the account. Such a gorgeous great sword, but you know, I don't need four of them. I'm about to get my sword right here though, so it's all good. Golden yeah. Scarab. Wait, what's my item though? Hold on. Oh, the, I got the scorpion egg robe. Gosh darn it, dude. It's it's the trash. The trash intelligence top. What the hell? Shirking Fort, Refreshing Evasion, or Refreshing. And I don't know the third perk. I don't remember it being noteworthy, though. They got these cool names like Monstrous Breastplate and Scorpion Egg Robe, and that's just gonna sit in my storage like a scorpion egg. That's tough. The fucking staff. Oh, Golden okay. Scarab again. Oh, I got the Armored Hide of the Scorpion Queen. Why, do I, why am I getting all these scorpion pieces? Scorpion Egg Robe, and now the Armored Hide of the Scorpion Queen. That's tough. At least I had two rolls. I had two rolls, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and then another roll. We got the hand that feeds again. Didn't I get that earlier today on a chest run? Dude, back to back in, in the same clip. Damn, I'm never going to get this ring, bro. Really I cannot are. land it. I cannot land it. Wait, woven coverings. What are those? I don't remember seeing. I got some more unique shoes, dude. I'm, I'm on fire right now. I just have like five shots at the table. But those are, those are pretty much like best in slot logging boots. They have constitution and logging look. Bro. Oh. Hold on, these are nice. Uh, Dude, I got some... Here, I'm gonna link these in a group. Look at those shoes. Light focus shoes with resilient and fortifying sacred ground. I know it's in here somewhere. Here it is. Keen, refreshing torrent, and corrupted bane. We got this really nice corrupted heart hatchet of the ranger a very long time ago. Actually, I think, like, over two months ago. And... I'm actually in the mood to do some hatchet DPSing at Tempest. We have 17 runs left for the week, so I'm probably about to get back into that. And I actually want to use this. Keen, Refreshing Torrent, and Corrupted Bane. I forgot I had this, and um, yeah, I, I really want to try it out. Refreshing Torrent on the weapon is so freaking sick, so we're going to take that to 625. 
I do have to cut a sapphire. I don't think I have a pristine one cut right now. But hey, I think it takes it's either it either takes soul or death mode. I hope it takes slow mode because obviously we rolled this tool last episode. I have a ton of slow mode laying around, but I'm I'm not sure. It might take death mode. I'm gonna go check. Well, it does indeed take death mode. Luckily, I was able to find a good amount of it in my storage shed. So let's make three death quintessences. I'm not gonna convert all of this. Uh, I don't know how much it would be. Probably around somewhere around there. Oh, we're really close to an Arcana Aptitude Crate. Really, really close. I'm, I'm gonna use some scraps, actually. After I make these uh, quintessences, yep, I was pretty much on the dot with how much uh, wisps we needed. There's enough death quintessence to cut the sapphire. Now, do we have any Arcana scraps? We do! We have 14? Holy crap. Alright, well, let's convert those and get a Tier 3 Arcana Aptitude Crate. And almost a tier 1 crate on the next track as well. These are pretty good. These Arcana Aptitude crates. We can also get a piece of the outfit here. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. We got Runic Leather, Glittering Ebony, and Asmodium with some Air Essences and some Earth Quintessences. Those are awesome. All of this stuff is like very high time requirements for me to get. All right, I put on the stone cutter set. If I can get a bonus sapphire here, that would be huge. Let's see. Oh, baby, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. I, God, having a spare pristine cut gem is a big deal. Is this the right one? Yeah, I'm assuming because I can't even put a gem into this one. What is this hatchet? Oh, this is the vicious and shirking lightning one we got a few runs ago. But this one, I'm excited to use it. I wish that Keen was vicious. That's the only thing I would change on this hatchet. But this isn't a bad, uh, like, secondary compared to that. Pain plus refreshing torrent is honestly so overpowered. At least from what I've seen on speedruns. Oh my god, my torrent just comes right off cloud. You can just spam torrent when you have refreshing torrent on your weapon. It's so weird. That's so weird. I need it. That's crazy! Is it, this... is it doing a lot of damage? Yeah, dude, it's a lot of damage. You can just spam it. Oh, I got a no Holy crap, a double double! You guys saw that, right? I got a Vengeful Fisherman Smock. I'm gonna link it in chat for my boy. We got a Vengeful Fisherman Smock and a second Ember Stone from the same chest. Holy PvP flagging works. I got Lumberjack Gloves. What the hell? from killing one of these tigers. With those boots we got earlier from that grave offering, we're getting a pretty nasty logging set here. Where is it? Oh, they're only in 558. Oh well. Well, I was about to get into more Tempest, but I realize this episode's been running on for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Thank you very much for watching. You can see I'm recruiting for another Tempest run. Let me check this guy's gear. Yep, he's got the gems. He's got refreshing torrent. Guardian's Resolve, that's a very nice sword, and pretty nice uh, hatchet. You're in, buddy. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like and subscribe before you head off. And I will see you in the next episode with a bunch more chest runs and hopefully finishing off our remaining mutations for the week. I think we have 16 left. Yeah, 16 out of 25 mutations. So we'll be sure to work on those next episode as well. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in a few more days with the next upload.